All right, so now what I want to do is I want to export the model. And that's a fairly simple process. Uh, before I do that, I just wanted to show you uh, what I would do if I really wanted to rebuild an entire piece. So I double click on this guy. What I would do is I would explode it and do some dupe edges or dupe borders and just sort of boil it down to the pieces that I really need to recreate this. So if I go in and say turn off the green and turn on this magenta layer, you can see that I have my feet. These pieces would then be lofted to this piece, that piece, and that piece. And then I would go ahead and do an edge surf here and um, I probably need to add a line there, do an edge surf here, here, and here, and turning on my, my sweep, I could go ahead and sweep that again and subtract it. Um, so just to give you an idea of, of how I might think about rebuilding that whole piece, just sort of make, remaking the armature as best I could. All right, so I'll turn this back on and then turn our other lines back off. Um, I'll just do another show edge here just to show you that everything is fine. No naked edges, right? No non manifold edges. And then we'll export. Exporting is actually one of the easier um, options. So you'll just go to File and Export Selected can pick either before or after you select that command and then right click and it's going to bring up a dialog box and there are many 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 different I'll scroll this up a little bit um, types of export options in fact they're still going off the screen down here the one you want to use is the SAT so ACIS SAT and what this does is it it creates a SAT file that um, Revit will read as a solid piece if it's watertight. I've already exported that first form that we looked at and the second form with the naked edges and then I'll re-export this one to form 2. So I'll just pick that. Now um, when you go to save, I'm just going to replace that. It's going to bring up a dialog box and you're just going to use the default settings. Um, they work just fine so you can click OK and then you're going to have hopefully a file successfully written. And that's pretty much the extent of the exporting. So nothing very fancy there. Um, there's a couple of things you should really pay attention to um, in terms of how your model is situated. If right now the model is this is 0 comma 0 comma 0 in Revit and it's a good practice to have it um, centered on that. It's not necessary but it's good practice. The other thing you want to make sure of is more important is that whatever your base is, wherever your zero point is, you really do want that to be coincident with Z0 right here. If it's not, move it into place. Um, to make sure that it, it will work correctly. Otherwise, your model is going to import and it's going to be sort of floating or sunken below what Revit thinks is 0, 0. You can fix it, but it's just good practice to have everything ready to go. Okay, so so that's it. That's it for the exporting. Pretty straightforward.